Hi everyone, the report of the week checking in. And uh, here yeah, you can see it's a different setting, uh, reporting in from base, from the uh, from the command post, i.e. bed. But, uh, oh man, it's been one of those days. You know, it's been one of those days. And I said, because originally, right, I was going to do a review today. It, it it's, it's, it's not going to happen. That's all that I can tell you. And I thought to myself, I think this would be a good chance to kind of set the camera up, you know, do it maybe a little casually. And uh, just try to, you know, just vent it out to you and try to get maybe a little bit of a message across at the same time. Eh, I mean, don't, don't even get me started, all right? It was one of those days. Like, you know, you know, when just everything goes wrong and you have absolutely no control over the situation whatsoever. One of those days where... You know, I'm I'm filming this on a Thursday, right? So it's not it's not live, but it's okay. It's an aside. Uh, you know, it's Thursday evening. It's around seven eighteen p.m. And for those of you that know, those of you that don't, uh, every Thursday is the day that I do my radio show. And you know, I call it a radio show. It's really like a glorified podcast. You know, I I get it up on the SoundCloud and tune in. And then it goes out 15 times on a shortwave to, you know, the international audience there. And this week's show, I mean, I was really feeling it. Like, the last few weeks, I, you know, I wasn't really feeling the best. One week I had some terrible anxiety. One week I had some bad migraines. So I was able to put something together. But, it, you know, it could have been a little better. But I was just inhibited by just how I was doing physically. This week I was feeling it. And I said, you know what? I'm going to work hard at this. I'm going to get a good show out for everyone. And, and you know, I did. I, I really put a lot of time into it. I worked for a few days. I, I actually made the show about an hour longer than it usually is, uh, where I just I had a lot to talk about, uh, got some good music played, and I was just on a roll. I got the show set up. I edited it. You know, I, was, I really wanted to promote it, too. So I was trying to get the links, you know, to where it, it streams on TuneIn. And uh, the shortwave frequencies and listening times to everyone that wrote in. You know, I, I was working for eight hours straight. I was getting to about four or five hundred emails just responding. And I thought, you know, I'm, re I'm really on a roll today. I was feeling this show. I'm going to get it out. I'm going to get it promoted. And I was exhausted by the end of it. You know, I was working through the night. Finally fell asleep. I woke up just in time for the first broadcast airing to, uh, you know, start checking it out and make sure everything's going all right. And I'm not hearing the show. It's just, it's it's dead air. I checked the tune-in stream, and it's a silence. There's, there's nothing there. I checked the shortwave frequency, you know, where the, the radio station is supposed to be broadcasting it. There's nothing. I'm scratching my head. I'm trying to think, well, wait, wait a minute. You know, I, I know I sent them the file. I know I, you know, I submitted the show to them. So So what's going on? So I sent the manager uh, of the radio station an email, you know, not not angry. We're on really good terms. And I just said, you know, well, you know, what's going on? Is everything all right with the computers? You know, I, I just wanted to check. Uh, you know, my, my, I don't see my show airing. What's uh, what's up? And it, then he broke it to me. He said, listen, you know, we, we kind of have a problem. Someone hacked into our computer system deleted, or I think encrypted, all the files that they had, every audio program, and then was demanding money to get them restored. And they said, you know, look, we're dead in the water here. We can't even access any of the shows that we're supposed to air. We're not going to give in to this guy's demands, so we need to get a whole new computer system set up. And unfortunately... It's not going to be finalized until maybe maybe tomorrow at the earliest. Which, in short, means that everything that I was working on and promoting and doing over the last few days for this radio show was for nothing. And it was due to circumstances outside my control, outside the control of this radio station. It was just some hacker that decided to screw with them and, you know, just try to get a ransom. Kind of like, you know, you remember those old viruses that used to infect your computer and say it was locked by the FBI 
unless you give them like 500 bucks and you know that, that kind of deal same type of thing i knew that it wasn't my fault it wasn't the fault of the folks who work at the radio station they were working to get it fixed man i couldn't help but feel so disappointed i was i was i was feeling disappointed i was feeling down i was feeling frustrated I was shaking my head and I was just saying, damn it, you know? I, sp I spent so much time, so much energy. I, I was just trying so hard to get a good show out to all these people who are looking forward to it. And it's not going to happen. Yeah, there's a few people that still tune in on the SoundCloud. But I know that tens of thousands of people listen on shortwave and on TuneIn. They weren't notified that this was going to happen. No one knew that it was all going to go down. And I was just kicking myself. I was just I was just saying, you know, total loss. Just a complete and total loss. And I kept kicking myself. I, I, kept, I, I just kept beating myself up, getting down on myself. And I was getting into a real... I was digging myself into a hole, you know? My mind was just beating me up. It was trying to find a way to blame me for this issue. And, you know, say, you screwed up. You messed this up. You know? It was just trying to make me feel like a, a piece of, of, of you know what. And I, I stopped. I took a deep breath. I stopped. And I remembered something. And that's why I have the camera on right now. This situation, this problem is unique to me. But I think in a very broad generalization, we've all had these days. We've all had these problems where something happens to us, okay? It could be on a personal level. It could be at work. It could be at school. It could be with family, friends, relationships, business, anything. And something happens... Something doesn't go the way that it was supposed to go at all. And could end up being a complete failure. Due to reasons totally out of our control. And I know a lot of us have gone through this. You might be going through this right now. I know who I am. The best thing to do. Is to stop. Take a few deep breaths. Just inhale for a while. Exhale. Just take those slow breaths. That's a good way to just calm your body and especially your mind. And ask yourself this. This situation is out of my control with this point. What is my anger, my frustration, and my tantruming going to do to solve it? Look at, look at my situation. So these guys hacked into the radio station. They're pretty much extortionists. And what, what, what am I going to do about it? You know, what am I going to do? The staff at that radio station, they're already working on it. They're already trying to replace the files and get a new security system and computer program uh, updated. They're on it. So what's my anger going to do? Yeah, we have every right to be frustrated because it didn't go our way, but we cannot let that get the best of us. Never forget that. If a situation is out of our hands, it's out of our hands. Yeah, it's okay to blow off some steam. You gotta do it in respectful and appropriate ways, though. But if a situation's out of our hands, you just gotta ask yourself, what is all this needless anger and frustration What's it going to do for me? How is it going to help? And really the short answer, it's not going to. Best thing to do is to cut the losses as best you can and move on. Just say, tomorrow is another day. It's a blank slate. Yes, what happened today is what happened. But tomorrow is a blank slate. It is what we can do with as we choose. You can pick the pieces back up, put it back together, try and recover from whatever set us back today. Just keep that in mind, dear listeners and viewers. We've all gone through a rough day. Sometimes we'll beat ourselves up over it, but just remember, 
we're still here. We're still going. It's not the end of the world. Situation's out of our hands. We still have tomorrow. And let's just keep that going. We don't know what tomorrow is going to be. Let's just say, hey, it might be a better and brighter day ahead. That's the way I'm looking at it. And I know this radio show, it had its setbacks today. I'm not going to let that get the best of me. And I'm going to put together a darn good radio show for next week, too. If you want to check it out, you can find it on SoundCloud, soundcloud.com slash V-O-R-W underscore radio underscore I-N-T. That's all that I have for you. Thank you for listening to uh, my little talk, just kind of venting it to you. And do take care. I'm your host, the Report of the Week.